if you are using GPT-4 for large scale text analysis and you are not really bothered about real time response back from the API, OpenAI has introduced Batch API for you. So the Batch API endpoint will allow users to submit requests for asynchronous batch processing. So they will process these requests within 24 hours. The details of each request will be read from a pre-uploaded file and the responses will be returned to an output file. You can query the batch object for status, update and results. What is the exciting part about batch API? The exciting part is that each model will be offered at 50% cost discount versus the synchronous APIs. So this would result in huge savings. So if you are an organization or someone who's using GPT-4, but you don't need synchronous API calls, you are okay with batch processing and you can wait for 24 hours for your data to be processed, right? So this is the API for you. So what models can I batch? If you look at all GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, uh, you know, most of the GPT-4 Turbo, uh, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, all these models are supported. So what they're saying is that uh, they aim to get all requests within 24 hours. If a batch expires, it could not be completed, then remaining work is cancelled and any already completed work is returned. Developers will be charged only for the completed work. So what kind of scenarios uh, this would be really useful is like if you are a company or an organization who is processing batches of data, right? You are processing the data today using GPT-4, but your results matter only a few days down the line, right? Possibly an end of quarter analysis and then you want to come up with some analytics reports on your data, right? Or you want or you already have a process by which you process a batch in a day, right? So in those kind of batch processing scenarios, this is a very good uh, API, okay? Because this reduces the cost by 50%, right? So if you are spending X amount in a month, okay, for your batch uh, where you are processing a lot of data and you are not really bothered about real time, uh, you know, a synchronous API call, then this would save you 50%, right? If everything works as promised over here. So this is a nice uh, thing from OpenAI. Uh, this was just uh, announced yesterday, right? A very recent announcement. Um, they are saying that streaming is not supported on the batch API. Their current SLA is 24 hours. Okay. And uh, what is the limit of how many requests I can batch? There is no fixed limit on the number of requests you can batch. However, each usage tire has an associated batch rate limit. So you have these, uh, rate limits over here right depending upon the model okay and uh, what else is present over here uh, batch rate limits are completely separate from existing rate limits what happens if a batch is manually cancelled whatever results have been completed will be uh, you know returned and developers are not charged for any uncompleted work okay only for completed work they'll be charged okay and these are some of the status of the batch jobs okay which is validating which is the validation of the updated file in progress before the batch can begin fail the file has failed the validation process in progress the file was successfully validated finalizing completed expert cancelling cancel so i'll be putting this link and you can check it out okay and they're saying that there is zero data retention in this endpoint okay and here is their um, you know a batch api uh, so here is the endpoint. Okay, you can create a batch first. Creates and executes a batch from an uploaded file of requests. So you have to create a file. Okay, so here uh, these are the specifications of this particular API. I'll not go into the details over here. You can check it out. So there is a create batch method. There is a retrieve batch method. Okay. Uh, to retrieve your uh, results, there is a cancel batch method which can cancel an in progress batch. Okay, then there is uh, details about the batch object, uh, the request input object, and so on. Okay, you can check out this uh, documentation. 
over here right so this is a very interesting play from uh, OpenAI uh, with this batch API uh, so this endpoint is for asynchronous batch processing and if your use case can do with asynchronous batch processing and can have an SLA of 24 hours then this API could reduce your cost by 50% right that's what is the claim over here each model will be offered at 50% discount versus the synchronous API I hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel I'll be putting all the relevant links in the description of the video do check out see you in another video